Glasgow, Best Spring Vacations Just a few decades ago, Glasgow was a grey, gritty city of dank pubs and homely slums. However, the same dogged Glaswegians that survived years of deterioration kindled a cultural rejuvenation in the 80s and 90s, fanning the flames of urban renewal throughout the city. Today, Glasgow offers a high-intensity clubbing experience, a surprisingly good art scene, a live music scene, which has discovered the likes of Franz Ferdinand and Snow Patrol, and numerous places to shop that range from the Barris Market and vintage shops to the jewellery at Argyle Arcade and designer stores. What you need to know 1. Lost and found If you lose your way in Glasgow, look for a Glaswegian wearing a bright red coat. Most likely he or she is a city centre representative, whose job it is to give directions. 2. Curry Capital The self-proclaimed curry capital of Europe, you shouldn't leave Glasgow without a bite or two of Indian food. 3. Close to the North Pole Glasgow is just close enough to the North Pole that it sees super short days in the winter and gloriously long ones, 15 hours, in the summer. Culture and Customs Be careful when discussing your preference of Edinburgh slash Glasgow at the expense of Glasgow slash Edinburgh. Lonely Planet says, their rivalry with Edinburgh is fierce and folk are full of contempt for what they see as a prissy, right-wing establishment on the East Coast, full of toffs with clipped accents and, infuriatingly, holding the title of capital city. However Glaswegians remind themselves that Edinburgh may be the capital, but Glasgow has the capital. Like its United Kingdom neighbours, Scotland pays for its pints with the pound. Since the pound to US dollar exchange rate fluctuates, be sure to check what the current exchange rate is before you go. Major credit cards are accepted at most restaurants and shops. Safety A bit grittier than Edinburgh, its eastern counterpart, Glasgow sees its fair share of crime, but most of it is inflamed by drugs or too much alcohol and amongst local Glaswegians. Lonely Planet does warn tourists against participating in any orange marches, which relate to the centuries-old hostility between Protestants and Catholics. Best Things to Do in Glasgow Although Glasgow tends to be overshadowed by eastern city Edinburgh, professional travellers say Scotland's largest city is not to be overlooked. With an out-of-this-world shopping scene that features everything from couture items to thrift shop steals, and all that lies in between, as well as a hot live music scene, Glasgow offers an abundance attractions to more than fill a vacation. Recent travellers especially recommend touring the City Chambers, Museum of Transport and Shopping in the Barris Market. Best Times to Visit Glasgow The best time to visit Glasgow is the months between March and August when temperatures reach their peak and daylight hours are long. On the flip side, the winters are characterised by bitter cold and short days. Budget Airlines flying from London Heathrow, LHR, or other major hubs, have made Glasgow travel relatively affordable year-round. But to find deals on hotels, you should book a trip over the weekend when business travellers have returned home. <laughs>